Hey guys, the Monk36 here from Geek Gaming. Bring us back some more Condemned. In the last episode. Yeah, I'm sorry. This hasn't been uploaded in a while. But, yeah. He threw it right. Where'd it go? There, that was quick. Otherwise, yeah. That is like the quickest boss. Ethan, wake up. Okay. It's okay, you're having a nightmare. Damn. My head is killing me. We're exhausted. We're both Like I was saying, SKX is out of the picture. Dorland and Oro are our main concern. This may end up being a wild goose chase, but if we're right, the magic man can help us. Okay, we need to uh, go through the magic theater. Well, guys, I have a little bit of news. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of news. I, uh, I will be getting better recording equipment very, very soon. Also, um, a mic. And I will be doing one more walkthrough after Condemned. After that, we'll be waiting for a bit. I might do some videos here and there, but you know. I searched for information regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. However, I managed you guys to locate can expect me to be recording some of the new gather, games coming out. I will be getting my Xbox One release date, hopefully. And, um. Also, pretty remarkable, if true, but we must consider the source. You see anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? No specifics, but I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate, possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. However, the information is too sketchy to establish anything concrete. Um. Yeah, the games I definitely will be doing a <laughs> walkthroughs of is uh, Dead Rising 3. I think me and uh, Cool can agree to do a co-op walkthrough of that. Maybe, though. Maybe. Gosh, maybe. Or are you guys talking crap about Mr. Ethan Thomas? But we are going. Why is that thing on my screen? Whatever. Let's just go. Are you guys gonna expect me to do Dead Rising 3, um, Destiny? Uh, what else? Titanfall, Dark Souls 2, just Assassin's Creed 4, maybe. That's amazing. I hate these women. Seriously, get away. Don't touch me. Oh. I just... I hate him so much. Anyways. Yeah, I think this one comes alive and then one comes alive. Let's not dance. I would prefer. Whoa, 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 wait. Get down there. <laughs> All right. 
Du du han. I don't remember where the lever is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Stupid table. Always, always in my way. Always. Okay. But that, that's just messed up. They were on knives. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry about lack of thumbnails on these videos. I haven't put them all on after this, but I'll say one. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Very sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Before leaving the SCU, I managed to grab the test Orleans agents found on SKX. It's some sort of journal he was keeping. Most of it's meaningless babble, but listen to this. The root of the Oros plan revolves around a tradition called sonic generation. It's the ability to produce complex sounds that project out from not just the mouth, but the entire body. People subjected to these sound waves experience acute bouts of paranoia. This is followed by hallucinatory episodes that slip quickly into psychosis and other forms of uncontrolled violent behavior. It goes on to say, people with natural tendencies to be violent become even more so when exposed to these sonic emissions. Ethan, the implications of this are huge. Do experts know what causes people to become violent? There are so many theories that it would be impossible to list them all. Does he describe how sonic generation works? He does. It's a little sci-fi. Okay. Their ability to create sonic tones is due in part to an enlarged hollow sternum and a higher than normal bone density. Unique vocal cords can create, when trained, complex sounds that reverberate through the sternum and chest cavity like a finely tuned instrument. Now get this. Various metal apparatuses surgically implanted into the bone and skin can amplify the effect. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Ooh, is that what those guys at the school had those? I don't know. Well, next level, we have a place called the Peninsula, and it sucks. But yeah, let's keep going, because this commentary sucks, but... You know what? I'm not here to play your fucked up games. Not very many people watch. I don't care that much. I do these videos because I enjoy recording and posting stuff. Enough battling. Sense of accomplishment. You are not so easily influenced. No. That much is obvious. That would be so ordinary. I am not an ordinary person. I am. Ethan Thomas! What? No, I am just on. No. I need a medkit. Yeah, would we ever use medkits in this? Seriously. <laughs> oh, one, two. Come from here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, 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 I missed. Cutscene. I'll be quiet. The underground is a buzz, Mr. Thomas. How do you know who I am? Fear travels fast. Start making some sense. 
Remendium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth, a bedtime story. But now, uh, you've made them think otherwise. You can all go to hell. Wait! Please! It's a gift! The ideal body, perfectly tuned from birth, capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and bones. It's what they fear most. A power greater than theirs. This is bullshit. Are you a member of the Order? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you, they are on the verge of suffocating this city. What? Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and hungry for power. Where can I find them? Oh, you, you don't know what you're asking. I can't. All right. Uh, the peninsula. The answers you want are there. Off to the peninsula we go. Completed the magic theater. That was a short chapter. We only got a silver. All because I didn't get perfect responses. Poo. Anyways, guys, like if you ever enjoyed, subscribe if you want to. Um, next part will be up soon. One more thing, guys. Potato. Eh. Turn off.